Right here tonight, the Real Money team is back, and we ask you to tell us the number one financial goal you had this year. More than taxes, more than health care. In a World News poll, an overwhelming 71% of American families said getting a raise is the number one priority. And ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, went to Cincinnati to show us some of the secrets of talking to the boss tonight. Rebecca. Diana, as you said, it is the top money concern among American families, getting a raise, but fewer than half of us actually even make the ask. So we came here to Cincinnati and found one woman who is willing to take our real money advice and put it to the test. Rebecca Levy, a market researcher from Cincinnati, Ohio, is about to do something terrifying. Ask her boss for a raise. How are you feeling? A little nervous. And Rebecca's not alone. It's that number one concern among American families revealed by that brand new real money poll. How to get a pay raise. Only about one third of us ever ask, even though, get this, 84% of bosses expect us to ask them for one. So how do you do it? Hi, Nicole. We brought in career expert Nicole Williams from the powerhouse job networking website, LinkedIn.com. Heard it's like one of those taboo things yeah. that you don't tell people what you make. Check out websites like salary.com and vault.com. You type in your job and zip code and they tell you your average salary range in your area. Next, know the exact raise you want. Nicole says for most of us, a fair ask is 5 to 10 percent more. I'd love to just check in and have someone record you practicing. This ask is as much verbal as it is nonverbal, hmm. right? So there are going to be things that you're doing to let your boss know that you are not confident and that's going to work against you. And before going in, ask advice. Seek out a mentor or another manager. We asked some of the toughest titans from ABC's cutthroat deal show, Shark Tank. You don't want to fall for the big corporate lies. Sales are off. It's not in the budget. All that stuff. I've used them all as a defense. They're never true. There's always one guy in the office that just got a raise. Do not give ultimatums and say you're about to leave because even if you get the raise, the boss is already thinking about replacing you because they never know if you're going to stay. You should never come out and say, I deserve more money. Nobody cares what you deserve. It's about what you can do for the company. Can I trust you? Are you loyal? Do you share my goals? If you do, I'm writing a check. Back in Cincinnati, Rebecca's ready. I am getting ready to drive to work so I can ask for a raise. Um, wish me luck. And a few hours later. And it went really well. I was really glad that I had the conversation. And about that raise? My manager did say that if I continue my performance, I will receive a raise. That's real money. And Diane, I just want to go back to one thing. 84% of those bosses expecting you to ask for a raise, maybe even wondering why you haven't already. So really, there's no reason not to take the plunge. It never hurts to ask. Diane? You have to remember that when you're walking in the door. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And tomorrow night, Rebecca is going to slice down cable, internet, and phone bills. See how she saves one family more than $1,000 tomorrow.